oftentimes, you know, athletes and, and musicians and stuff make the jump into movies and they usually take on something relatively easy right off the bat. Um, what made you want to do an old person's voice and do probably like four hours of makeup every morning yeah. and actually have something like this rest on your shoulders? Well, it was quite a commitment. Uh, started as a, just a, a concept in Santa Barbara, California, and uh, Jay Longino had the kind of narrative ready, and then um, I just couldn't believe it was, the turnaround was going to be two years. Um, you know, last summer was a big summer professionally for me, and then throw in the movie with all of this, I think that it gave me a... <laughs> Just a just an alternate commitment to that I could get my mind off of things, and I utilize it of taking some things that I kind of really wanted to convey to the world and, and influence that through Uncle Drew. Drawing the character was it was tough at first, but I think after a while, after about the first week and a half, I just really started dialing in and getting comfortable in front of the camera. And then, like I said, having a bank of comedians, like they said, having a bank of comedians that was able to kind of bounce ideas off of, and then there was an authenticity that of just a kind of a relationship that me and Rel had just garnered a day before. You know, we had just done our, our lines together just a day before, and then to see that evolve over time, it was easy to transition to, to the Uncle Drew kind of storyline of fitting that mold as best I could. So utilizing what I have known about paying homage to the older generation, and what does that balance look like of a 26-year-old paying homage to a 60-year-old and finding that wisdom. Charles had to remind me every day, be old. <laughs> be old, like older, older, older. I'm stillness, like, stillness, stillness, which you already had. Yeah. yeah.